so you just downloaded the brave browser and you heard that is a really good browser and it's really good for privacy and security well you're right but you didn't enable the settings that which actually do that so right now you're using it off the bat it's not that private and secure you can basically push it to another level and enable private and security settings which were built into the brave browser so it's basically like clicking on a button which is like private mode upgrading to private mode but unfortunately there's no just one button doing that it's a bunch of settings which have to be activated but don't worry i'm going to show you how to do that right now so just follow me so you're going to click on these three lines and you're going to go to settings we're going to go to shields okay so shields is like the most important thing that's going to happen over here so shields is like where all the trackers and ads are going to be blocked first of all we're going to start with prevent sites from fingerprinting 100 percent enable this if you found it off enable it this will help you a lot next is trackers and ads blocking obviously you want that on standard if you want it on aggressive then fine but it, it might break sites it's gonna start you know it's gonna make sites a bit sad you know how it is so i would put it on standard maybe aggressive for the sake of the video i'll put it standard next is upgrade connections to https yes enable this keep it enabled why um http websites are not safe https websites are safe and uh i'm not going to explain how http and https works and like how the differences are but just know that https all your data that is um being sent to the website is all in basically a secure tunnel so opt for https block scripts do not enable this if you enable it you're basically blocking javascript and blocking javascript on websites is not the best thing to do i mean you can try it and see the websites they're just not going to load it's they're all going to die so this 100 percent blocks your website next block fingerprinting put this on standard if you put strict you can see it's rendering may break sites so just put it on standard and it will work block cookies only cross site because realistically all will block all cookies and it will break your website and i'm going to show you another thing later that every time you click the x button and open up again a fresh new tab it's going to delete all cookies and all history so you can put this if you want just put it to only cross site so it'll block only the cross site cookies so third party cookies in other words and i'm going to show you how later how to delete all cookies when uh, exiting the browser now next is privacy and security this is where so many stuff happen actually okay so autocomplete searches and urls this should be off and you can see why it should be off since it sends some cookies and searches blah 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 i'll turn this off web rtc ip handling policy put this to disabled non proxied udp allow preserving product analytics p3a this turn that off same for this one yeah i recommend disable these two features but it's not something big so do whatever you want automatically send that closest reports this no turn it off you don't want it on you gotta turn it off now i'm gonna show you the feature that i told you earlier that i told you whenever you click on the x it's gonna delete all cookies this is where it is so you click on clear browsing data and over here so it's going to be on basic you want to go to on exit so what does that mean whenever you exit the brave browser and you relaunch it this will all be cleared so you're going to find them all off you want to turn everything off except this because if you turn this off it's just going to reset these shield settings and you're going to have to reset it every single time you enter the browser which we don't want so again just enable all of them do not enable this one and your browsing history download history cookies and all of that will be wiped off so next time for example you logged into youtube next time you're gonna have to re-log into youtube since all the cookies and everything will be deleted and it's better since the browsing history is deleted it's just better for your privacy and security so yeah do that and click on save now next there's nothing here okay we go to search engine and my one as you can see is on DuckDuckGo and DuckDuckGo your one might be on Brave or it might be on Google now look please if you want to stay private especially today in 2022 use DuckDuckGo and so many people actually encourage using DuckDuckGo since it's really private and secure so I would recommend using DuckDuckGo and yeah so next is after you've put these DuckDuckGo and DuckDuckGo these two next is 
coming down to autofill now autofill this is dangerous click on and i'm going to explain to you why but just click on password manager and these would be on disable them same for payment methods disable them and addresses and more disable disable everything autofill should not be on at all why there's so much information out there on the net that shows how bad and dangerous autofill is these passwords could get leaked they are so vulnerable and there was like an exploit back in the day i don't know in 2017 2018 showing that this autofill feature can be exploited by so many um, programs and other stuff so it's better not to use i don't know if they have patched it but so as a password manager there are so many password managers out there that work perfectly and you don't even have to pay such as bitwarden and yeah so uh, yeah that's all if you like this video, please like the video and subscribe and, and drop a comment down below what video you want next. And yeah, peace.